<laughs> That's right. Get a job now, baby. Because you got to get prosperity to detect the search and shit. And it leads to one car behind the pendulum. It leads to full scales. It even leads to you actually getting a girlfriend for the first time in your life. <laughs> We have a big game on our heads today. We must win. Let's go, Trent. We got this. Yeah. For some reason, pendulums require so many gosh darn gems in order for me to, like, play. All right. Um, where, 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 where's Supreme King Z? All right. So I have this Supreme King's Arc deck that I really want to play, but requires one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight. And nine. That's nine right there. So that's 270 gems that I would need in order to go get this and I already used up My rest of my points here to go and work myself a fire king um, Diab uh, Diabell star deck which requires even more Like unless I go and spend like 40 bucks on this game Which I'm not gonna do gosh darn it right now because I can play all these gosh darn decks over here um, I don't want to play it. So I'm right now working with the most of what i have and here's the thing i play pendulums in real life like irl i play like like that's like my my number one deck is pendulums so i'm kind of avoiding playing a deck that i play in real life and i play this deck in real life so i don't want to go and dedicate time into getting gems for them <laughs> if i already play the deck uh but i want to play this deck though in master duels because they have electromites so how's your guys day going so far huh have y'all been surviving this thing we call life are y'all winning? Oh, damn, you see this? No way! Pendulums! Oh my gosh. Dude, dude, you are, you are my lucky charm here, man. There's no way. I had store-bought pizza. I'm honestly, because I'm not going to be able to get Little Caesars today, I'm probably going to go and uh, buy a frozen pizza, then put it in the oven. It's going to suck. But dude, what are the odds here that I just so happen to be facing a Supreme King Zark Turbo deck? Uh, to me is gosh darn crazy gosh darn mega freaking flipping crazy y'all so the thing though um i don't have to pay attention at all to the screen here i got my going second deck whatever happens happens here all right y'all um should i go out for pizza no 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 no. <sighs> getting an entire box of pizza because if i like set up a box of pizza i gotta like really try you got eight oh you got eight of the frozen pizzas all right things like if i do get myself like the store-bought pizzas which are like 16 1500 calories i have to go out of my way to finish it like i hate leaving pizza or food available for the following day unless i'm meal prepping yeah so what honestly will probably happen i'm gonna go to the grocery store after i go to the grocery store i'm gonna get myself one of those like small pack mini pizzas look at my opponent man he's popping off here look at all these pendulum cards man pendulum! pen best deck let's go Pendulums are the best deck. I don't care what anyone says. Name one deck that can make five negates. Name a deck that can make seven negates. What about a deck that can make 12 negates? Pendulums are the only deck that can make infinite negates. I bet my left testicle that is true. Let's space some uh, oil in the bottom of the pizza and make it more crusty. That is a good idea, actually. That is actually a good idea. Oh, man. Spray some butter oil. That's good. Yeah, I am right. This is Adderall Pendulums, right? Oh, you don't know Triff Gaming? Uh, okay, look up Triff Gaming, dude. He is, without a doubt, the most charismatic Yu-Gi-Oh player in the world. Let's go! Let's go! He's got, like, a personality that isn't for everybody. But he is, in my book, the most, like, natural charismatic player in the role of Yu-Gi-Oh! Where he makes pendulums pretty much his like, personality and attitude. He is objectively an uh, like on great duelist. I'd say he's one of the greatest duelists of all time. But even though he's never won a YCS though, but that's, that's one of the weirdest things. We're like, he is the best duelist ever to never win a YCS in my opinion. But how do I explain Trift Gaming? Trift Gaming is, um... Okay, think of the... Dumb as heck jock guy in your school Who is the life of a part who is the life of the party and everyone loves hanging out with him? But he also happens to be like really good at the nerdy thing. You're really good at So the guy is acute into football into soccer Into like Andrew Tate and he's into like the hyperbolic conservative stuff actually and into like hyper masculinity and all that stuff dude He loves going to the gym the guy goes to parties all the time 
And he's this guy who always yells and screams. Like, he's the guy who is the most nerdiest dude in the room, but you can't tell he's a, he's a complete nerd. Like, he's the nerdiest guy in the room, but he doesn't come across as a nerdy guy. Which makes him such a unique case. He hides his power. Oh, dude. If you wanna, if you wanna have fun, dude, follow his Twitter. It's so fun. It's just him constantly spamming out, like, I am actually Yugi in real life. Or he's like, I'm Yuya's dad. Or he's gonna be like, or, or, or no, or every single time he goes to a Yugo tournament, he always puts the same thing. He's like, all right, guys, I am real life Goku. I want everybody to raise your arms right now, actually, and channel your inner, your inner like power spirit, and give me all the strength to defeat all my foes, bro. Pen best deck. Why is that even playing pendulums? It's such a funny thing he does. All right, bros, let's go. I need everybody to like give me your strength, as if I am Goku. Raise your arms in the air, in the power of pendulums, and make me strong. Let's go, pen best deck. See, I would love to have a Gizmet card here. I think I could have won this duel if I roll with the dangerous uh, Tsutsunoku. But at this point here, I think I'm fine. Uh, I'm not a fan of Triff, but I like the meme and the way he brings himself into making the most broken. Dude, here's the thing. I'll say this now. There is nobody who has who is more of an innovator in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh. Dude, the guy had to back Joker, dude? Oh, man, it's crazy. Oh, dude, it's Coker Bat. Oh, do 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 Should I go for this? Or should I wait for the Link? Yeah, you know what? I'll go for that. So I'm going to go wait for him to... He probably has a... No, he... Did he already use Electromite? He already used uh, Electromite already. And use up that. He's going to go into Beyond the Pendulum. I'm going to negate the Beyond the Pendulum. I'm fine. Uh... But Triff really to me is like the most innovative duelist ever. If you go to any any of his deck profiles, nobody has decks like him. Like he is like the anti he's like the reverse MBT if you think about it. Where like MBT is the nerdy guy, but he's actually not good in Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, compared to like Triff, who is like the alpha male guy who bullies nerds, but yet he's actually like, more of a nerd of Yu-Gi-Oh! than MBT because he's actually good in the game. He's such a weird special like I agree like if you want to have a fun time, watch up anything with Farfa and Triff together in a video. It is hilarious. He's like the most unique, innovative duelist ever. Where like, he will go down like in the Yugi history books as probably like, the best duelist to never win a YCS. Now he's topped all the time consistently. Like if he goes to a tournament dude, he's almost guaranteed to go top a tournament all the time. Like he's consistently all the time like within like top 32, top 16 top eight there was a month actually where he was like always like top eight top eight top four top eight it says that Trev has been gone for a while dude um i don't know like, uh, his brother just got married here's the thing though to any other duelist out there right now for the most part if they're watching this game here they would have like they would start hard panicking with like the pendulum stuff here is he? Wait, he's not gonna go. Wait, he's not gonna. Oh, he's pen something right now. Oh, that's interesting. I thought he's not gonna go. Wait. Uh, da 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 da. He's not gonna go to beyond the pendulum. That's so strange. That brought magic in front of your hand. All right then. Um. He need no, but you already pen something right there. You don't have another summon coming forth at this point here. You don't have electromites. Um. But I'm in no danger here. But I don't want him to add the spell card. It's interesting. Um, should I try to negate this guy here, or is it a trap? I'm not in any danger, but I don't want him to add a card that can out him at this moment here, because he already has his pen summon. Yeah, I'll go here. I'm gonna go negate that. I think that has to be his way through. I don't see him having another option out of this, since he already pen summoned. And here's the thing, though. I generally believe once we go into the Ubel format, which I think will happen. Okay, so there's the Beyond the Pendulum, which I am right about. The issue though is that he already pen summoned here. So, because you want to go Beyond the Pendulum, and then you pen summon afterwards, and you get yourself the Dark Worm, which doesn't do much here. And that's it. All right, I win. Yeah. This is what happens when you play against somebody who's been playing Pendulums for like seven years, or eight years at this point, actually. 
It's like all that stuff there is normally intimidating to anybody who doesn't play pendulums. But if you play this deck like religiously a lot, which I did uh, back in 2019, where it was like I'd be playing pendulums at like legit like from like at 2 a.m. in the morning, I'd wake up at 5 a.m. in the morning, and I'd be playing pendulums over and over again. Like I had so many variations in my old desktop of like like no joke more than like 34 like 40 different like, pendulum decks. Pendulums is such a fun, over the top goofy deck. And it's intimidating when you just see it, but when you start getting it, it's actually nothing that crazy. If you're a pendulum player, they hate you.